Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how to set up hair physics with the auto setup tool for Unreal Engine 5. If you haven't yet installed the latest version of the auto setup tool for UE5, please make sure to check out the basic tutorial first. The latest auto setup tool provides great hair physics results in no time. Once you import a character into UE5 with the auto setup tool, it will come with a physics asset in your imported folder. You'll see that it has all of the collision shapes set up already. Let's take a look at some of these settings. You may occasionally encounter issues with the hair like you see here when I hit play to simulate. The most important thing to pay attention to is the size and position of your collision shapes. So let's start by scaling the collision shape for the head first and also move the neck 01 collision shape a bit further down to match more with the shoulders. If I restart the simulation, you'll see the result is a lot better. Keep in mind that for big physics issues, the first step should be to take a look at the collision shapes in your physics asset file. Let's take a look at cloth painting next for our weight map. Physics in both Character Creator and Unreal utilize weight maps, and although we already have one that is imported from CC, there is still a calculation difference between the two engines which may need to be refined. Let's select the hair transparency clothing data first and go into Enable Cloth Paint. I'm going to start by zeroing out the paint value and with a 5.0 brush radius, carefully start painting the upper hair. You'll see it gradually turn pink, which means that that area will have reduced physics effects. After that's done, I'll switch from brush to smooth and click on smooth mesh to refine the gradient of the weight map. You'll see a smoother color transition each time it's pressed. After that, jump out of cloth paint mode and you'll see Unreal Engine begin to process the changes. You can simulate again to see a more natural hair physics result. After tweaking the collision shapes and weight maps for the hair, we can also fine tune parameters in the cloth config settings. Subdivision count is an important parameter that will make the hair thinner with a higher value. You can also mess around with the iteration count, which will increase calculation times for the physics simulation, providing more accurate results. Keep in mind that these values can quickly increase the CPU processing cost. There's also the anim drive stiffness, which allows you to decide the minimum and maximum weight values for your constraints. Increasing the lower value will cause hair physics to be a bit more stiff, as you can see here. There is also anim drive damping, which allows you to control the damping effect of physics bouncing. This parameter also has minimum and maximum values, which you can set according to your preference. You can always mouse over the parameter names for a more detailed description about exactly how they influence your physics result. Next, we have gravity scale, which will simulate the amount of artificial gravity applied upon the hair. Decreasing this value will make the hair appear lighter and more buoyant. Finally, there is collision thickness, which regulates collision shape thickness. A smaller value here can give it a bit more of a detailed result. Okay, let's look at using the weight map mask next. Hair physics can be fine-tuned by adding a mask to give different areas of the hair different physics. Let's start by adding a new mask for anim drive stiffness. Once we do, we can return to cloth paint mode again. What I want to do here is paint the lower part of the hair, which in turn will make it more affected by physics. This is a good technique as the lower part of the hairstyle like this is normally thinner than the top. Once I'm done that, I'll again switch to the smooth tool and hit smooth mesh a couple of times to get a better transition on the mask. We can exit cloth paint mode to bake those values again, and then take a look at cloth configs parameters again. This time I'm going to set the low and high values here like so to decrease the stiffness range for refined results. That's about it for the basics of tweaking your hair physics results for CC4 characters in Unreal Engine 5.
With the latest auto setup update, you should have excellent results right off the bat, but in case you still want to tweak things, we've just walked through the most important parameters and techniques. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.